Midnight Solar Classic 250 CP MPPT charge controller. Best solar charge controller for lithium batteries. Welcome to JW Solar USA, live in Minnesota. Please subscribe, like, and share to the video. I have a classic 250 CP, which is like a buck converter, a buck charge controller. I think that's the newest ones now. Midnight is uh, distributing all over the internet. So I decided to pick up one and try to test it and see how it works. Since I've dealt with the uh, Midnight Kid, the Classic 150, Classic 200, Classic 250, and this is the Classic 250 CP, live here at the channel. Stay tuned. If you ever own a nice charge controller or commercial grade charge controller, I encourage you to buy one and uh, try to get experience for yourself because these charge controllers are awesome and you will never turn back or you never deal with any charge controller ever and you just want to use the uh, commercial grade. Today we're going to go inside this box and open up and see how the classic uh, Midnight Classic charge controller 250 CP looks like if it's different from the others and their features. We're going to be doing all the review of this charge controller and we're going to put it to work for our solar batteries which are lithium batteries configuration. So let's go ahead and open up this charge controller and see what it is. So this is how it looks like, okay, it comes with the temperature sensor and um, just the basic protection uh, styrofoam on it. Well, if you look at it closely, you see this thing is manufactured in 2017 and uh, it's the fourth quarter right here, 2019, 2017, sorry, a battery temperature sensor with uh, RG12, like a telephone jack, plugs in. Here's the temperature sensor made by Midnight Solar Incorporated. This is American made. And here's a box telling us it's a Midnight Classic 250. Okay, all right. Okay, this is how it looks like, some of the plastic. Let's check it out. There are instructions here about the Midnight MNGP. It's a Midnight graphic panel or graphic display panel. It's MNGP, what you have to do. This thing pops, okay? Pull all the way. You can able to yank this one out, okay? All right, so take this, then we can able to connect the speaker, connect the battery, and get this thing to sync with the one old device. Stay tuned. Now the two, four screws has been taken out, so we can just go about and uh, open up this bad boy. Ta-da! That's how it looks like. This is the cover, just a regular cover which you can buy if you buy the classic. The SL doesn't come with this panel. There's the MNGP I was telling you earlier. That's the uh, uh, RJ12 that plugs in like a telephone jack. This is just a regular cover. You can even buy this one. And this plate pops. And this is where the cable connect for that. So it's not anything fancy to just make this one so you can have the control buttons here. Um, so <clears throat> let's go about it. He comes with uh, uh, the knockout conduit kit and uh, the the vent covers and he comes with the cover right here a blue one that uh, goes right here to protect the terminal if you connect some wires you can be any uh, 
live contact. So it's going to go just like that. Okay? So if you take this one off, you see you can do your wiring and put this on. Then this cover looks so neat and nice. So um, let's look at it closely. If you take a look, you will see we have a, a plug in here. Okay? You have another plug in here. This is for the display face where this one plugs in right there. So we trying to see the difference between the other classics with this one. Okay? So this one has uh, an Ethernet port, which is, let me flip this thing over. It has an Ethernet port here. All right, guys, I just found something interesting I want to show you. I don't know. I don't never remember seeing this, but um, the Midnight, look at the specifications there. Let me zoom this properly, sorry for the shake, and see what it says there. Pretty interesting. It says uh, the Midnight Solar Classics 250, MPPT Solar Wind Hydro Burk Buck Boost Charge Controller. So this is different. I've never seen that with the other ones. It's a Buck Boost. So it's like a Buck Controller. Okay, a Buck Boost uh, Charge Controller, which is uh, um, the other ones doing even have a name like that but look at the, the other interesting stuff okay I think I went too much zoom in uh, okay if you look at it closely use a 62 amps okay 262 two amps a 250 volt all right and it goes, it can support up to 93 volt battery bank. A battery, a battery bank, you're gonna be a maximum battery charge voltage up to about 93 volt. Which the classic 250 goes up to, um, I think it's 72, if I can believe. I, I don't know, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I don't remember. Uh, seeing that I have one um, on the wall, but the way it's mounted, I can't able to um, go back and take it off and see. Guys, this is pretty interesting. Yeah, and uh, it has. This is what I ordered, and uh, it looks like, according to the specs, they told me, or what I read. I saw it was supposed to have uh, for the Midnight Whist Bank Jr. Okay, maybe they send me a, um, a, two a 250, not the, um, the 250 uh, CP. So it doesn't, it don't supposed to have the Ox, Ox 2, Ox 1, and Okay, I see. I think it's right. It doesn't have, it's not supposed to have the follow me mode, which here, the other ones have one, two, and three to do a master, a slave, you know, follow me mode. So it's only one. This is the one going to the battery temperature sensor. Oh, sorry, it's for the display panel, the MNGP. And here is for the battery temperature sensor okay and here is the battery terminals and it's even have um that's the thing that uh puzzled me because they're supposed to have one of these for uh diversion load if you want to use a clipper uh midnight solar clippers well it has uh class um ox one ox two jumpers here and i can see on the transformers here it says 250 uh 
DC, NAF, I've never seen that before, and um, it's just kind of a little bit different. So, this is just a review, and I got the turbo fan um, um, hookup, it's right there. So, you can do the turbo fan, and you got some jumpers here. It says 250 and you have for the uh, for updating the software so guys this is the controller um, it's just different from the others especially for the follow me mode as as a, a grand fault no arc fault protection it has a grand fault um, protection on it not arc fault so if you got to the uh, the other ones they have grand fault, arc fault, and uh, I think it's a reverse polarity protection. So this is what it is. So we have to just try it and see how this puppy works because it's kind of a little bit different and strange. But um, I know a lot of people out there probably already start using them. So I just decided to share with you guys so that you guys can see or feel the experience with the different charge controllers. You can tell definitely it's three of these um, plugs supposed to be here. The um, MNGP display control panel, graphic panel, and you have the uh, master and the follow me and the slave supposed to be here. But it's not here. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Subscribe and share to the channel.